I would also say 21. The more hedonistic I was, and I was super hedonistic when I was 21 in college, especially when I realized I didn't want to go to law school and I didn't want that life, I filled that ambition with Jägermeister and pussy. Mm -hmm. And I can honestly say that was one of the most miserable times of my life when I was doing nothing but just chasing pussy, which pussy, much like I said, money earlier is an illusion. It doesn't matter if you have a million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, or a thousand dollars, it really has very little bearing on your happiness, especially when you're young. I mean, again, once you get into middle age and you have no money, it's going to be a fucking problem. And having money is definitely better than not having money. But it, it is a very fleeting sense of satisfaction to have money. But getting pussy is even more fleeting. Money is like a cheeseburger you eat. You eat it and you're hungry again a couple hours later. Pussy is like Twizzlers. You eat a fucking stick of Twizzlers. Sometimes you feel worse after eating it. Yeah. Seed oil. But then you still, you still like, I have to repeat that to myself because I still occasionally go girl crazy. And occasionally? I, and, and, I'm, and I'm seeing pink, Leo. Occasionally <laughs> go girl crazy. I, I, I work in phases. You know I work mm -hmm, in phases. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, you do. It's been a phase recently, huh? I... I have not been on that serious of a pussy bender. Good. You feel better that way. Not really. I feel like you are hornier and you, you spot titties way more when you're, <laughs> when you're abstaining from sex. You spot them all over the place. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I got good eyes. <laughs> all right. So that, so the 21 year old self also, I mean, at 21, I feel like a lot of guys that I know got kind of ruined by like a chick. And uh, I think you just got to remember at 21 that uh, this, this too shall pass. Like you are not probably going to marry the chick that you're dating at 21 she's might be the girl that you think is uh you know because the guy mentioned that he's in a relationship too you might think it's the girl that you're going to spend the rest of your time uh you know the rest of the, your life with but sometimes it may be but try to remember guys that you're gonna maybe laugh at the fact that you ever cried over a girl yeah. especially when you were 21 you're gonna like look as soon as you're 25 or 23 you're gonna be like what the hell was I thinking? And you're going to remember me saying this on this podcast, but this is the truth. I know you're heartbroken right now. There's a lot of relationship breakup advice too, so we might as well do this, this one next. Um, but like, just remember this too shall pass and you're going to meet a girl that probably makes you completely forget about this woman, especially if you yourself keep, you know, leveling up your own life. But what do you have to say about that? Breakups? It's a rite of passage that a young man should get his heart broken by a girlfriend mm -hmm. because here's the truth when you're dating a girl your age when you're in your early 20s she inherently has a much much higher value than you. Mm -hmm. if she's hot especially if, oh if you're dating a hot girl when you're 21 you're Ooh. fucked she's gonna break your heart you're, man. you're fucked because any girl who's 21 and an eight and up is gonna get a dm from danny and she might want to go out to dinner Oh, and he can take her to a nice sushi spot in his Tesla now. 18 and I, I thought we were talking. My my jam is two-year-olds, dude. I thought we established that at the top of the show. <laughs> it looks like that one. I, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's how it's going to go. Because a girl who's 21 and hot is at her absolute peak mate value. That is, I don't want to sound sexist here, but as mm. far as g attention from guys... That is her absolute fucking peak. Yeah. Whereas you, you might be, you're at your peak when it comes to gay guys. Yeah. Like gay guys want to fuck your little hairless college asshole. Oh, yep. If you're gay and you're one of our fans, <laughs> go out there and yep. get, get that money. Get that money from them old gays. Yep. But in the eyes of women in college, college is a cloaking device because everybody's on a level playing field when they're in college. But the second you graduate, that's when real shit matters, and your deficiencies as a 22-year-old at that point, 23-year-old once you graduate, boy, are going to become manifest very quickly. Mm -hmm. And she's going to want a guy who can afford a decent apartment, who's not driving a beat-up hand-me-down like I did until I was fucking 34. They're going to want a guy who can provide more for her, and those dudes typically are in their late 20s or their 30s or maybe even beyond. Which is a lot for you guys to look forward to. Also, if you're yeah. young, if you get your heart broken at 21, just know that your mate value isn't even near the, what the top is going to be. Not even close. Yeah. You got many years to fucking scale up, That's, and, you, and you will if you, if you use your time wisely. You have... 
in your 30s, I mean, I think, Leo, you would attest to this. Like, nowadays, especially in a big city, being in your 30s or even your mid or late 30s is not really much of a hindrance at all. I'm in my late 30s, and, like, last year, a couple years ago, Jacob took me to a college bar, and I, I made out with a cheerleader. So, things were, it was great. There you have it. it. I was 37. <laughs> I was 37 That's... at the time. <laughs> and it go you know, to evidence right there that it's not all bad. It's all good. But then here's there. the thing, guys. Even if you are, <laughs> even if you're 40, yeah. even if you're 50. Even if you're 50. There's a place called Thailand. Yes. Or Vietnam. <laughs> or Colombia. Or Poland. Or Brazil. Or Mogadishu. Or in Danny's case, the nursery. Yes. In Danny's case, the nursery. There is the nurse. I can in, always. In Latino communities, because there's a lot less supervision. How dare you? I only have eyes for my sister's two daughters. <laughs> as far as this bit goes, it's a bit, YouTube. It's a fucking joke. And my sister and her fucking husband laughed at it, and they're the baby's parents. Yep. Maybe that means they're molesting them, too. Uh, okay, so, I'm looking at some more. You can I, continue. I'm just looking so at some more. So what questions. I'm saying is, guys, you have so much to look forward to. Mm -hmm. You've got another two full decades of being in your fucking prime, even if it gets your heart broken young. But if you go past those two decades and you want to keep getting chicks, go to Thailand and you just flash that American passport and you're going to have your pick of the hottest girls there. People don't talk about mating markets enough. Sometimes you got to get out of the. I always recommend to young guys get into a better mating market. So that goes for Will, too, who lives in fucking Chefshire or wherever the fuck he lives in fucking mm -hmm. the UK. <laughs> get to a big city where there's plenty of options. Oh, oh yeah. you'll get over a breakup real quick. But, yeah. hey, you know, if your mate value, you're feeling a little down, it's feeling a little low, there's always Thailand. Mm -hmm. Or as I call it, America's jizz bucket. <laughs> you can go there and you can just start coming on stuff. That's right. There's you no can. law against it. There is. I guess we might as well get into it before we go to a more serious one. But, like, a lot of questions about how to get pussy in general. And I can tell Leo you. Leo prefers a left cross. <laughs> Uh, and uh, practice it so it lands on the chin because <laughs> if you hit her on the temple it's just, it's gonna it's just gonna discombobulate her for a little bit it makes it really awkward you might break your hand too yeah it? exactly you don't you know so make sure that it's a good left cross <laughs> but uh on a serious note uh as a young man i think you uh leaning into working out is gonna help you uh being jacked it, it almost Every man has, it's in his control to be attractive if you can at least be jacked. Yeah. Uh, I know a ton of dudes who just get a beard, shave their head because they're balding, get jacked, and they get a ton of pussy. Yeah. And because they're confident, they're doing well in life, so on and so forth. But getting jacked, having good hygiene, those small things can help you right there. And then just the numbers game. And this is the simplest way to get pussy. Get jacked and then hit on a lot of girls. If you do both of those, even if your game is terrible, like I always tell the story about this Australian guy I met at a bar. He went up to a girl in front of me and he was like, you want to have sex tonight? And she was like, no. And I was like laughing. I was like, how does that ever work for you? And he goes, I did it 22 times last night. The 22nd time it worked. So point of the story is even if you just go up to a girl and ask them if they want to have sex, eventually you might, it might, one is going to say yes. Or so. the Fabio Prado, my old jiu-jitsu coach. Oh, my English is no good. I lick the pole. There you go. And that's and he he would say that to women. And yeah, that and would, would, that's going to work. It would work. And uh, one time he fucked a girl in the bathroom at a nightclub I worked at. Yeah, he, he was, was handsome, too. He was handsome, though. Kind yeah, of, right? yeah, I mean, yeah, he like was big. Jack. He was just like a big fucking like he was Brazilian, but he looked just like a big black guy. Right. Uh, so yeah. He handsome, yeah. Right? No, sure. he was, yeah. He like was, a type. Yeah. Yeah. He was a type for sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, getting jacked. I would say floss. Good hygiene. Get, getting jacked. Good hygiene. Just throw some shit at the wall at some girl. You know what I mean? Like. Try different things with girls like who knows what's going to work for you. I mean, a game could be different for, you know, from ba from each different different women can be approached differently and it's going to work for each one of them. The only way to find out is to try to approach a ton of women and it hurts. It hurts to get rejected, but you got to fight through that if you want to get girls, man. And also, I want to say to Fabio, I said that he's a big black guy as if that made him less attractive. I yeah. was just describing him. No, I never no, thought that, of him as big handsome. black guy is like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's real, definitely a, type. a ton of chicks. Yeah he's, yeah, he's a type. dude. He's a Brazilian jiu jitsu black belt. He's a fucking type. He's a sure. type. Getting pussy. Mm -hmm. Again, mating, how to mating markets absolutely matter. You got to get into a place where you get plenty of at bats so you can play the numbers game like Leo was talking about. The numbers game is vital. And again, as I said earlier, pussy is like eating Twizzlers. It'll give you a stomach ache pretty quick and it's not 
very good long-term nutrition. Good point. Once you everybody get pussy, has to learn that for themselves. Yeah, you, they they do. Once you get pussy, you're, it's not going to bring happiness. You stumbled into a conversation on getting pussy. So just a recap real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I love Leo's getting in shape. Control what you can control. Yeah. Your physique is True. absolutely under your control. Yeah. Career, yes, but a lot, of, a lot of you guys in your 20s are working on that, and you can't just snap your fingers and immediately have a good career. Yeah. So we're going to go with mating market, big city, city with attractive women, city with a good ratio. New York's the best for that. 52% women, 48% men. A lot of the men are gay, Leo. It's true. Lovely. And then numbers game. Absolutely. Absolutely.